Hey YouTube, Silver Fox here. Today I'm giving a little report. I've been on a coin fair. It's the Basel coin fair in the city of Basel. That's an important Swiss town in the region of the borders of France, Germany and Switzerland. And I went there by train and got some Swiss francs and I uh, purchased a few nice coins. I have to say 99% um, was pure collector's stuff um, and you had to look very hard for something that you could buy to uh, near spot prices. But I found something and I'll show it to you. This are Swiss Helvetic Thalers, Helvetia Thaler in German, and they were minted since the middle of the 80s, every year with a changing motive on one side. You see um, 1987 is the famous mountain Matterhorn. The backside is every year the same. It's the sitting Helvetia with shield and sword. Very nice motif. And it's made of 49 fine pure silver. One year ago at this time um, the Canadian coins and these were the only ones I knew that were minted in 49 fine silver. Now you have uh, se uh, several others. You see some different motifs. The city of Lucerne, Chateau de Chillon, that's in the French speaking part of Switzerland. Then you had 1991 was the uh, 700 anniversary of the founding of the Swiss nation. There you have the national hero Wilhelm Tell and a modern coin of 2010 with the city of Zug, which is also the capital and the name of a Swiss canton. A canton is like a state in the US. These were minted by Agor Herreus, by the way. And you have this series in the size of five ounces too. And the motifs, uh, they come out very nice in this size, as you see. Here you have Bern, the capital of Switzerland. Five ounces silver, this is the great cathedral of the town. And if you see a reeded edge, I wanted to tell you this, all coins are have a reeded edge. The motive of the, of the sitting Helvetia is very nice in this size, as you can see. Very detailed. Then you have other count, uh, cities, the city of Fribourg. These are also minted by Argo Herreus in 999.9 9 quality. St. Gallen, this is from 2001. And Liestal, which is the capital of a Swiss canton, Basel Land. So, um, I was able to um, achieve um, those coins in a package, so I paid not more or less, uh, not more than the spot price, I would say. It was a very good deal for me. This one is an official commemorative coin from the Swiss Mint. It's the basic tunnel of the St. Gotthard Massif. 
It's uh, the longest railway tunnel of the world, 57 kilometers, which is 35.5 miles long. And it goes down under the central massive of Switzerland um, through the Swiss Alps to connect the north to the south in Italy. It's an official legal tender, has 20 Swiss francs face value and is minted in only 30,000 pieces. So I think this will... It was nearly sold out on the first day at the afternoon at the fair, so I think this will be a good investment. Then I have a private minted Swiss ounce. Nice motive, a standing Helvetia and many Swiss crosses. And what I liked very much, greetings to the China Panda, the fine weight, not an ounce, but 31.1034 grams, Swiss people are always exact, fine silver. And the last one, that was the best bargain I found on the whole fair. It's a 10 ounce lunar year of the snake. I think I got this below spot price, so I had, uh, yeah, I was very lucky to find this and I, after bargaining a little bit with the dealer, I got this for a very good price. So I think it was a good thing for me to visit this fair. It was small and had almost uh, had 99% of collector stuff, but for everyone who lives in this region, it's a nice thing to visit at the end of January every year. That's it for now, your Silver Fox.